Let your love be like the earth. Feel yourself in this place. <clears throat> Feel the earth's gravity pulled you towards its center and embrace. Be wise in the ways of the earth. Know that it is steady, constant, firm, and filled with resolve. A sanctuary and a foundation for you to build upon. Know that in its enduring fortitude, it is also soft enough for life to take purchase and to take root. Let your love be like the bountiful earth, dependable and fertile, so that you may always bear sweet and nourishing fruit. Let your love be like the waters. Dive into its depths and drink deep of its essence. Be wise in the ways of the waters. Know that it runs deeper than any being can fathom, full of mystery and full of wonder. Know that it blankets the world and it connects all things. And in order to do so, it must take many forms. Let your love be like the rain, gentle, persistent, and giving. Let your love be like a river, unyielding, yet adaptable as it forges its path. Let your love be like the oceans, vast, deep, powerful, worthy of respect. Let your love be like fire, revel in its warmth, bask in its light. Be wise in the ways of the flame. Know that its temperament is one of passion, igniting and ferocious. Let it teach you attentiveness and awareness. Let your love be like a flame. Allow its brilliance to banish the darkness of fear and uncertainty. Let its light suffuse you and embolden you. May it warm your home and shine brightly as a beacon to each other and to those you share your life with. May your life and love be one of abundance, rampant and ripe with laughter and friendship, pleasant surprises and successful plans. May your bellies never suffer from the pain of hunger, but may you always have an appetite for adventure, experiences, and learning of yourself and then of each other. May your bodies never suffer from thirst and may your cup overflow but may you always seek to sate yourself with new ideas and concepts and the satisfaction of earned contentment. May loss be a stranger to you. May it not know where you reside, but should you ever cross paths, let its visit be brief, and may it only take from you that which does not serve you. Bad habits, self-doubt, old grudges. May you look upon another with the eyes of children. May you love each other like children so love the world, full of magic and wonderment and whimsy. May you have the courage to be honest with yourself and honest with each other. May your lips always speak to one another as equals. May you discuss your differences with discernment and not judgment. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with one another and not fail in the little graces. Even as the strings of the guitar are alone, though they quiver with the same music, so too should you be separate, whole individuals that come together to make harmony. Please take these rings. These rings are an ancient and enduring symbol. Feel the weight in your hand and know them as a symbol of your promise and commitment to one another. May you learn from your past, revel in your present, and forge forward into the future with hope, trust, and faith in one another. Paul, if you'll repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. To have your best interests forever in my heart and mind. To have your best interests forever in my heart and mind. To hold your heart and body in reverence and respect. To hold your heart and body in reverence and respect. To cherish you, honor you, challenge and inspire you. To cherish you. To love you as I love myself with wholeness and intention. To love you as I love myself with wholeness and intention. From this moment into perpetuity, this I vow. From this moment into perpetuity, this I vow. Rebecca, please repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. To have your best interests forever in my heart and mind. To hold your heart and body in reverence and respect. To cherish you, honor you, challenge you, and inspire you. To love you as I love myself with wholeness and intention. From this moment into perpetuity, this I vow. And now with great honor, and by the power invested in me by the state of Oregon, and more importantly, 
<laughs> More importantly, by the power of your love and these sacred vows, I now pronounce you partners in marriage. You may now seal this oath with a kiss. Let the celebrations begin. <laughs>